welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is gifty if you're not subscribed yet please take a moment and hit that subscribe button so our Ghana adventure continues with our delicious and mouth-watering dishes today we are making a flavorful delicious impoto impoto or some call it nuhu or porridge yam porridge whatever you want to call it or some people also call it asaru so this is how we make it where I'm from. We make it with soup. It's so delicious. The ingredients are fresh. Guys, this is like comfort food in food heaven. It was so delicious. Absolutely delicious. Okay, guys. So in this video, please pardon us for our um, footage. It was a bit shaky. We missed some of the, to capture some of the content on camera because I think we were a little bit excited. We were having too much fun. But I hope you do enjoy the video. And if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and also ring that little bell next to it so you don't miss any of our uploads. And to all our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Let's keep going. Share our videos on any social uh, media platform that you have. And also, let's spread the word. Thank you so much. See you later, guys. Bye. And I also like to give a big shout out to one of my lovely subscribers that I met recently. Claudia, thank you so much for your support and God bless you and your entire family. Mom is cooking today, so you know it's on another level, guys. Let's get, dive straight into the video. So in this pot, we've got the beef seasoned with badia, adobo, salt, and maggi. And guys... You can actually smell the beef. I mean, you can taste it when you eat it. And in the asanka, she has the ginger, onion, rosemary, and anise seeds. If you don't have asanka, you can use a food processor or a blender to blend it. And she's grinding it so we have a nice um, paste, which will go on the meat, which will give it a very nice flavor. So the meat is on the coal pots and with all the seasonings on it. And she added the onion, ginger rosemary and these seed mixture and the aroma is just beautiful guys so beautiful so it's basically like making light soup and at this point um she added about a liter of water and just dumped the peppers onions and whatever in everything else in there the cocoa yams and everything in there and let it cook about uh about 90 percent of the way so yeah. once the cocoa yam was about 90 percent cooked she went ahead and scooped most of the soup or broth and put it in another saucepan and then let the cocoa yam cook until it was nice and tender. Then she removed it and placed it in the asanka. So in this case, if you don't have an asanka, you can go ahead and use a food processor. And then she put some, um, some salt and onion, which will add a lot of flavor and taste to the food. So you go ahead and puree it until you have a nice texture. And you because you want some texture to it, you want to leave a little um you want to leave some chunks in the in your cocoa yam puree, you know, which will give you that nice beautiful texture whilst eating it. So, so I forgot to mention that you also have to take out your vegetables and make sure you blend it and then add it to your soup. I will have the list of ingredients down below in the description box. Okay, so at this point, we went ahead and heated up some red oil with um, onions in it until it's nice and fragrant. And then you go ahead and pour it onto your mixture, your cocoa yam mixture. And then you just mix it until everything incorporates beautifully. And as you can see, it's looking mm -mm good. It looks beautiful. Go ahead and enjoy it, guys. Just soak it all in. So if you've never tried this with soup, I highly entreat you to do so. You will absolutely love it. You will eat it and bite your tongue, guys. I'm telling you. Okay, guys. So this is how it's looking. Once everything is mixed together, then you go ahead and serve it with your soup. So we have the mackerel, they call it Abidjan mackerel, which is so flavorful. You have the meat, uh, the beef, you can actually taste it. We have the opoku, everything was just so beautiful. So if you're not subscribed yet, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll say this was by far my favorite meal in Ghana. 
go ahead and help your girl and subscribe and share the video follow us on facebook and instagram as cooking with gifty and as i always say remember to stay blessed stay out of trouble and be well bye guys god bless you all